Hello, Motoring Mail fans. I'm here in Edinburgh, and it's half past ten. Dave Gorman, you've just finished stage. How do you think it's going in Edinburgh as a stand-up now? Because you were uh, Mrs. Merton, right? I don't know if you still are. Uh, I am, yeah. That's what I will be doing again shortly. Uh, but before that, I was a stand-up. It isn't like I've decided to change. It's true. Um, that's what I do. And I don't know, were you there? Was it funny? Were people laughing? Dave, we had a marvellous time. Thank you very much indeed. You, you seem to give a lot of yourself away on stage there. I don't know if it's all made up, Dave, or if it's real, Dave. It's, uh, it's part and part. I mean, there's obviously there's two or three bits which are obviously true because you just wouldn't say them if they weren't. And there's two or three bits which are just kind of... Um, Bollocks. You are a bit of a joke policeman, aren't you, Dave? You seem to be very concerned about using your own material and not stealing from the comedians. Um, Do you well, think that's something not, that's not, that's yeah, but It's not like I've actually just gone on and talked about that for an hour, is it? No, but it I seems, mean, I've just picked that out. You, uh, you, well, you can probably tell that it is all original it and there's some, all very, very slightly left field things. But that's, that is important. Anyone who goes on and does anyone else's jokes are harming that person's living and they're the person who gives the creativity to, to the world of comedy and that should be respected and admired. But now I say that and I sound like a bit of an arse. How do you feel Edinburgh's gone? Because it's, it seems quite hectic. You're, do you have to kind of like... Your cash is like what you get in the door now, isn't it, really? It is, but you don't come up to make money, you come up to show off. So what happens from here, then? You, you back off to do Mrs Merton. Do you like the kind of faceless behind the scenes, or are you more happy in front of the camera? Um, I like doing both. It's uh, Mrs Merton's a giggle, performing live's a giggle. If I had to give one up, I would, I would carry on being a comedian live, because that's the thing I love most of all. Now, Dave, it's one last question. OK. But my motoring male fans will remember me when I did my stand-up comedy, and Dave remembered me from doing my stand-up comedy. Now, Dave, you were in the audience. I was. Now, I went on stage and I really did bomb, and I told a joke. You did. You died on your ass. Uh, for 12 minutes. Yeah. Um, As I remember it, you went on, you did 12 minutes, you told one joke, and the joke was about breast cancer. Has anyone here uh, heard that they are split up one of this world's greatest national treasures? What? Are they split up the Wembley Twin Towers? No, they are taking away one of Barbara Windsor's breasts. <laughs> on these that was my joke, I did 12 minutes on that one joke. Should I, what should I have done? What you'll find is I told more jokes in 12 minutes than one. I did 60 minutes and I told sort of two or three jokes a minute as a rule um, and that's helpful and making the jokes quite funny yeah, is yeah, the other yeah, one. Yeah. Improvisational situation. Anyone <laughs> want to throw one at me? Any, any situation you got? Be funny! If you wanted to get away with a joke about mastectomy, fictional or otherwise, fictional uh, uh, then it helps if people like you before you say it. Can you tell me where I went wrong? Oh, darling, you'd never go wrong with me. Your personality just like sits me to a T and uh, just... And I told the joke twice. Was that a good idea? That's not a good idea. If people don't get it, move on and tell them another. If you come up and say, hi, I'm Dave Gorman. We'll be with one breast. And um, then went mad, 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 yeah, mad, mad. That's a loser. But when people like you, and it is quite funny and it's a bit silly, and I don't quite know why it works, but I know it works, uh, then, then I'm not going to ask questions. I'm going to take those laughs and put them in my back pocket. Dave Gorman, top bloke and very, very funny man. And if you don't watch Mrs Merton and see him in front, he's behind. And if you watch him in front, she's not behind. That made no sense whatsoever, but thank you very much. Oh, one last no. question that we can cut in. You're, you're the Columbo of interviews. You've said oh, one like last that. question about five times now. I know, but it just came out One last it. thing, my wife always wanted to know. <laughs> what is this? You wrote, you wrote Mrs Merton. There was one classic, classic joke at the Brit Awards. Yeah. Were you anything to do with uh, Charlotte uh, Outback? Yes, all four of us were. There's four of us write it, and we were all there, and uh, we all... I've no idea who actually crafted it properly, but we all sort of had a, had a hand in it somewhere.